I'm happy, you know, six out of ten. You know, I, I don't know, it's just, I won. That, that's the main thing, I won. And the support in here tonight's been immense and I can't thank all of the lads and fans enough and ladies, gentlemen, I'm just so happy and thanks for the support and I'm happy. You scored a couple of knockdowns and then it seemed you were hurt yourself in the seventh round. Was that just a momentary lapse of concentration? I did, I switched off and, you know, they, Dave's been telling me and I did switch off and a couple of bruises in the face there, so shows I've been in a little bit of a fight tonight, done it. It's not as me one side, like some people were saying. I, I said this was going to be a tough fight. I knew Valerie Brudov wouldn't go off one severe punch and, and believe me, at this weight I can punch. I, I don't think, I, I haven't that, very rarely seen Valerie Brudov actually off his feet and, but, uh, on a handful of occasions in close to 50 fights and I took him clean off his feet a couple of times, especially I think the second knockdown was, was the heavy one I thought, it's good night now and he just got up and I was like, welcome to the cruiserweight division. You also showed that you have your power late on despite the extra poundage and a decent decent work rate fight. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the work rate. I've got a lot more, you know, me, me stats in the gym prove that I can throw a lot more punches than that. I think tonight I was very measured at times and and I don't know, it was just, it was getting used to it, I really did. I mean, I, I was going into the later rounds thinking, how's this going, you know, I'm a blowing a bit. You know, I can see openings, I'm not taking them. Maybe a little bit of nerves. Listen, I, I've come back from a loss. And, and, you know, it was a significant loss. It hurt me bad. So I've had a lot of questions to answer, not to anybody else, but me. I'm the one who puts my head on the pillow at night. And I'm the one who asks myself these questions. And, you know, I feel like I've answered some of them tonight. Well, most of them really, you know, I've took some big shots in there. He can punch. He's got, you know, 28 KOs. This guy's got more KOs than I've got fights. So he can punch. But I'm happy I've done it late on too, because it shows I carry power late too. And in this division, that's, that's a big bonus. So how quickly do you want to be moved at cruiserweight? Do you feel you've got to settle down, maybe fight at domestic level first of all? Or, well, I think he, I, in all honesty, I think he's above domestic level. At the end of the day, he's, he's, he's a former two-time world title challenger, interim champion, like Eddie says. I, I just don't see the point. No disrespect to the British lads, because listen, the friends of mine, John Lewis Dickinson's a fantastic prospect, really good fighter. Uh, there's a couple of good... Matty Askin, who I've worked with for this camp, another good fighter. But let me be totally honest, I've done all the domestic scene and I'm not looking to go back there, no and that's no disrespect to the lads, they're young, I'm 31, I'm not getting any younger, I'm in this sport to be world champion, I've been British champion, I've been Commonwealth champion, I've been European number one, I'm in this sport to provide a living for me three boys and to become a world champion, big fella next to me tells me he can make it happen. Eddie is a target, Marco Huck, the WBO champion then. Possibly. I mean, he's a quality fighter, as, is, as, as are all the champions, Hernandez as well, and the WBC champion from Poland as well. But, you know, the excitement's back, the bomber's back, and he's carrying big power in those, in those hands. Yeah, it's a big move up to cruiserweight. You know, Hook is a fight that Cali Sowler wants to make. He's a quality fighter. I think we'll get him out in the summer again. I think he needs one more fight at cruiserweight and step up another level. And then I think he's ready for the world title shot. We all know that the big domestic fight with Cleverly is there. Everybody wants to see it. He doesn't want to fight. I don't care what anyone says, he doesn't want to fight. He's pulled out about 20 fights in the space of two years. He doesn't want to fight, it's as simple as that. If you want to fight, you know where I am. Stop walking around, stop, stop whinging, stop moaning, changing trainers every two minutes and telling the whole world. Just, just fight, just get in the ring and fight, that's what you're supposed to do. No one wants to know about you and your maths degree. Get in the ring and fight, I'm sick of talking about it. Well done tonight, great to have you back as a cruiserweight, Tony.